This little bit of upcoming information is aimed at gaming fans of any genre, so please stay and watch the video if you are the slightest bit interested in what I have to say. <clears throat> Alright people, with Nintendo's latest console, the 3DS, I'm sure you are more than aware of newer games if you have surfed the internet for at least 3 seconds. One new game in particular that I would like to note, and no, this is not a review for said game, is Shin Megami Tensei 4. Personally speaking, I believe the 3DS has some of the greatest RPG games available of today. This is not my primary topic though, as I would not even like to begin with Nintendo or its consoles. What I would like to focus on is the spin-off series within Shin Megami Tensei, known as Persona. Alright, the Persona series kicked off on the PlayStation by the Japanese company Atlas. And in case you didn't know, they're known today as one of the best in the JRPG genre. In case you don't know what JRPG stands for, I don't... Uh, Japanese role-playing game, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to get into too much detail with it, but I would like to announce what games have been made in this sub-series so far. We have Persona Reveal... We have Persona Revelations, which was um, released on the PlayStation, and re-released, re rather, sorry, on the PSP. Persona 2 Innocent Sin, which was only released in the PSP to, to us in, the, in North America, because for some reason, even though it's the first game of Persona 2, because there's two Persona 2s, it was never released in the US, and I'm not exactly sure why. But... Um, the sequel to Persona 2, Persona 2 Eternal Punishment, was released for the PlayStation in the US, but not reported onto the PSP like the first one. Persona 3, which has seen itself yet again on the PSP, believe it or not, and a remake with more story on the PS2, also known as Persona 3 Thess. Persona 4, also remade on the PS... Not the PSP, the PS Vita. This time under the title of Persona 4 Golden. Persona 3, uh, Persona 3 Fest, and Persona 4 were all released on the PS2, um, in case you were wondering that. Of course, there's Persona 4 Arena, but that's a fighting game, and I really don't consider it to be um, a part of Persona. Um... But on the bright side, it's a superb fighting game made by Arc System Works, who has the fame of Guilty Gear and Blaze Blue. If you like those games, why don't you check it out? It's a wonderful fighting game. It features characters from Persona 4 and Persona 3. Persona 3 Fest, rather, um, because there's some that are in the regular Persona 3. Um, go check that out. <clears throat> now, why should you like Persona? Well, <laughs> all right, let's get in here. Well many reasons to like Persona. There's there's so many. Where to start? Let's see, there's demons. Well, I guess they're called Personas in Persona, but they're demons in the Shin Megami Tensei series, if you're familiar with that. Um, relatable characters? Oh my god. Characters are some of the most relatable characters in any video game you'll ever play. You can, like, look at your own life and be like, oh my god, we are so similar. I, I love this character. Um... It comes with a music CD! Yay, music. Um, the combat system is... It, it's pretty good, I mean... It's similar to your normal turn-based RPG Final Fantasy type combat system. The, the older ones, mind you. And it's, it's pretty good. Um, it's not timed, though. Like, there's no time bar, it's just turn by turn, and it's that. But, something great about the combat system we'll talk about that later um there are just some of the most amazing stories that just keep you hanging off of that cliff for an eternity speaking of an eternity there's hundreds of hours of gameplay in these games please you cannot go wrong with persona there's just so much content you there's always something new and of course to discover your true self Uh, okay, I guess you don't want to do that. But anyway, <clears throat> uh, back to the combat system. The combat system is very unique in the way that it plays out. Like, it's not like, oh, I'm gonna do this much damage on you with my awesome weapon. That you're no, 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 no. Um, there are different kinds of weapons depending on what game you're playing, such as um, 
the weapons that go, and yeah, and the weapons that go, and then, yeah, shut up. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the combat system is different, but that that's not all. You see, there's different elements of magic that you can use as well, and there's different status elements, of course, because that's like an every JRPG ever. But the cool thing about Persona, and Shin Megami Tensei in general, I should say, is its weakness system. Um, you can have weaknesses, strengths, resistance, um, reflections, and even... Um, what's it called? The, I don't know. You absorb the thing and get life energy from it to each of the different elements, depending on who you're fighting or what you're wearing or whatever. It's really cool. Seriously, check it out. It's awesome. Okay. Now, let's get into what makes Persona Persona. Well, you see, the common factor in each of the games that keeps it being Persona, other than the title, of course, is the everyday facade that the people have, or the Persona that each character hides behind. Of course, related to the name Persona. As time goes on, you discover their true selves. Screw that! I don't know you! You can't be me, you son of a bitch! <laughs> That's right! Say it again! You're not me! You're nothing like me! They, of course, do not accept their natural self at first, being why they hide it, but they soon grow to realize who they are and accept it. And accept it. Let's deface yourself. So much relation to real life! Ugh. Okay. In the newer games, social links are represented by the major arcana of tarot cards, if you're familiar with those, and you gain points when interacting with a character and spend time with them. All in all, it's a pretty interesting game, so please, I've said this so many times, go check it out! Seriously! It'll take some time, but you'll learn many valuable lessons and find that it was totally worth it. Not to mention there's some seriously nice 34, but... And anyway, that's all! Keep watch for more updates and videos. This has been Utama with Power Switch News. Don't forget to subscribe, and thank you for watching.